What's going on YouTube? Um, today I'm going to do a video over Whopper Baits, um, hand poured plastic, some of the finesse worm. They're located out of um, Meeker, Oklahoma, and I live in Oklahoma, so I've been looking for a hand pour soft plastic company um, that I can, you know, buy soft plastics from instead of, you know, using uh, Zoom and like Strike King and stuff like that. Um, and I still do use those, but I'm kind of stocking up for the, uh, the summer and stuff. Um, so, um, I just got my second order from Whopper Baits today. Um, the shipping was in two days. It was ridiculous, but, yeah. Um, let's see. We'll go over the things I bought the first time. Uh, this is what they're famous for right here. This is their, um... Their seven and a half inch uh, finesse worm. I got it in black and blue flick. I got a lot of this stuff in black and blue flick. But yeah, it's just your normal uh, finesse worm, except it has this, th this thin uh, midsection right here, and that little tail right there has a bubble in it, so it floats. And if you go on YouTube and type in Whopper Baits th uh, seven and a half inch finesse worm or something, uh, you'll see that this looks ridiculous in the water. It's it's amazing. Um, next, this is the, just a smaller version, this is a five and a half inch, I have it right here. It's really small, like this is just itty bitty, but great for, you know, uh, very finesse, uh, situations. Uh, so that's their finesse worms, that's what they're famous for. This is what the, most of the packages look like. And then your bigger things will come in here, just this clear one, with the sticker on it. Um, next, right here, their whipping stick, five and a quarter inch, black and blue flick, right here. I have a box dedicated to Whopper Baits. Um, this is their five and a quarter inch, uh, stick worm. It's kinda, it's not very soft. I think it had, it's salt impregnated, so it, you know, it sinks faster, but it still has the, you know, the good action. Um, has all these ribs on it, um, the scent, it's, some baits will kind of have a scent on it, and, excuse me, some baits won't. This one kind of smells like, um, wave worms, kind of like a minty, like a net bait almost, but that's their five and a quarter inch stick worm right there. This right here is their frog, this is their four inch thumping frog. Um, it's really thick, and it has these, uh, from the side it looks like a frog, you know, and I got it in black because it makes a better profile, uh, on brighter days. has this really deep hook slot, like I don't even think it's possible to get hung up in this. And the feet, um, as you can tell they're probably going to have a lot of action holding it over like that. It's split uh, farther up the legs, as you can kind of see right there. Um, and that's just going to give it more kicking action. So that's their 4 inch frog. Um, next is their boxing crawl, 3.5 inch black and blue flick right here. Now these crawdads are cool. They're just, they're really cool looking. They have these uh, pretty unique pinchers on them. And the body looks like yum crop happy, but it's a lot softer, and uh, it has a great color, black and blue fleck. They, you can see it. They have a lot of blue flecks in there. Uh, I think that's just really cool. So that's their three and a half inch boxing crawl. Uh, next, one of my favorites is their uh, their armored bug. That's what they call it. I think um, three and a half inch. I think. Uh, it's right here. I got this in Okeechobee Crawl. Uh, I think this is just one of their best colors that I've uh, found so far. I like that kind of green pumpkin blue fleck top, but I absolutely love this bottom. <laughs> like, um, you'll see later in the video I made a custom design. I'm going to call it a uh, Sahoma Special, just because it's two of my favorite colors to fish with is green pumpkin and sapphire blue. 
So, that's their armored bug. It's really thin, but it'd be great for a Jeep trailer or a Texas rig. So, that's a great looking bait. Um, next, uh, I'll go over what I got today in the mail. This is their, um, let's see what is this? This is their four and a half inch hollow body sow bell swim bait in pearl color. They've got those nice 3D eyes on them. Nice red 3D eyes. They're hollow. These don't really have a scent, but um, that's what makes them good and versatile. Is because you can put, you know, your favorite scent on them or some spike it. Um, garlic dip, which is smells like garlic. Uh, yeah. So this is their 4.5 inch hollow body sow bell swim bait. It looks like it's going to have ridiculous action. Just, I mean, holding it over like that, it's kicking on its own. <laughs> and, um, if you buy a pack of these, or at least I, I don't know if this is going to be permanent, but, um, I noticed they got rid of, um, three position. They got rid of, uh, some of their baits. I think it was, um, it's either one of their baits or something. I think they got rid of one of their hooks, too. Well, I don't know. Um, but when I bought these, these are a four-pack right here. It came with a uh, swim bait hook. One of their uh, swim bait hooks, they have a video on, on this on YouTube. And it's kind of like a hook that you put in the bottom of the bait. So it gives it um, head action. And, um, or head movement. And... You know, it's just a regular kind of wide gap hook, and it has a belly weight right there. So I think that's pretty cool. Um, let's see. Next, I got their Pack and Crawl. Three and a half inch, green pumpkin blue. Uh, this is my custom design. Um, it's pretty much the bottom side of an Okeechobee Crawl. I'm going to call it a Sahoma Special, <laughs> even though it's green pumpkin blue. Um, but, yeah, it's green pumpkin blue flag, and, uh, why they call it a pack and crawl, I think this is going to be just an amazing, amazing pitching bait, is because they have this little minnow molded into the craw, the claw, and it, once you flip that in, the bass looks up, it just sees that little crawdad, you know, coming down, and it looks like it's packing lunch. Um, it came up to the top, and it grabbed a minnow, and it's floating back down, so the bass gets a win-win kind of thing. It gets the protein from the minnow and the protein from the crawdad. So, check these out. These are these are pretty legit. Um, next, also my custom design is their um, baby brush bug, four and a half inch. Um, this is just basically the zoom baby brush hog, except um, I think the tails are longer on this one. I think that's what makes it unique. And um, yeah. Oh, I love that color, honestly. Just, I'm, I'm proud of it. <laughs> um, next. Now, this is probably, you know, this is so cool of Whopper Baits to do this. Um, these two packages right here came with my first order. Because, um, I'm a member with Whopper Baits. And, you know, they sent me, um, some, you know, extra kind of samples or extra um baits and i think that's so cool so thank you whopper baits um they threw in some boxing crawls and three and a half inch in green pumpkin red that's a very versatile color i've caught bass on that color at sahoma which is the lake i fish um and some of their armored bugs in watermelon red that's another great color and um i have them right here if you want to see the colors that's the green pumpkin red. It's pretty nice. Oh, and unlike the um, the crawl poppies from Yum, um, these aren't hollow; they're solid. So I kind of like that. And also, their armored bug and watermelon red. This is a pretty translucent color, but uh, once it gets in the water, it'll be a lot darker, and it will look very natural. I think that's really cool. And from the order, my second order, uh, they threw in some of their skirted grubs. I don't know, honestly, how um, how long these are, 
but um, they're skirted double tail grubs. Um, also in my custom design, I guess they just kind of wanted to kind of use the rest of that plastic from um, those two baits right there. Anyway, it has that nice little skirt on. I think it's a two piece because I can take that off, but it has a nice little kind of rib section right here and two decently thick arms. So I think that's going to be great for a jig trailer. And also these, I'm definitely going to order some more of these. Um, these are their version of the Who Daddy from uh, Gene LaRue. Uh, it just, this is, I don't know what they call this, honestly. But, um, it's just kind of like a brush hog. Except it has this big rib section right here, which makes it great for flipping and pitching. I love to flip and pitch. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, that's all my Whopper baits. Check them out. They're located out of Meeker, Oklahoma. Whopper baits, home of the finesse worm. So, yeah, check them out. Um, if you live in Oklahoma and you want to support some local hand pour companies or a hand pour company, or you just want to, you know, support Whopper baits, you like the baits that you see, go to whopperbaits.com and check out their baits. So, uh, I think you'll be as pleased as I am. So, uh, thanks for watching and uh, stay tuned for more fishing videos. Thanks, guys.